All right, what's up? I'm Denshi. This is a 2012 MacBook Pro. And unbeknownst to lots of people, this thing over here hosted my Matrix, my XMPP, and my personal website. So chat services, sites, all that kind of stuff. And not from a server room, not from a home with open ports, but from a hotel room, which I've been living in for the last few months. Now this was made possible by something called SSH forwarding. You need a VPS for this, so like your own server somewhere else. And what you do is you forward all the connections from the VPS, which is listening on all the ports, and this can listen to those ports through SSH. Sounds a bit complicated. I'll show you how to do it right now. All right, well, before I actually go into the server, I want to forward the ports from. I'm gonna go to my VPS, which is this one over here, uh, mail.denshi.org, uh, and I'm gonna go to Etsy SSH, SSH D underscore config, and go down to the option that says gateway ports and set it to yes. It might be set to no by default, uh, but just set it to yes, and that will allow you to remote forward ports from your server. So now that I've set that on my VPS, I can go back to my main server, which is this one over here. I've created a basic Nginx listener, so on Etsy, uh, Nginx sites enabled uh, SSH forwarding. I'm listening on the port 1984, uh, literally 1984, and I have a little file index.html which I'm serving over the web. Now I want to listen on the same port on the VPS, so I'm gonna just put 1984 twice when I forward. To do that, all you have to do is do SSH and then dash capital R, and uh, then the port you're coming from, so 1984, uh, then the local host, or where you actually want to listen to on your VPS, probably local host, and then the port you want to listen to on it, which is 1984. So the same port here and there. And then my actual account, which is root at mail.densheet.org. And I think the port is uh, uh, 32-p32. All right, well, I'm in the VPS now, and it should be listening on the port if I check everything. In fact, if I do netstat-lt, uh, You'll notice that 1984 over there, yeah, it's listening on it. So now if I go to my web browser and I go to mail.denshi.org 1984, it should, yeah, there you go. It serves the little page which I made. It says, hey there, looks like you learned how to SSH forward. So yeah, this port and this web page is being served from my server, uh, this one, the GIO one. Uh, but it's being accessed through mail.denshi.org, which is my VPS. So long story short, if you have a VPS, you can forward the ports from a server in a hotel room or in your house or someplace where you can't forward ports. Now there's one more thing I wanna talk about which is doing this with like a daemon or automatically. There's a good guide by uh, David Ovsky over here on his website, davidovsky.xyz. You'll have this link in the description that runs you through trying to make uh, a little script that can automatically persistently forward stuff with SSH by using a systemd service. Now what I'll say though is there's one thing that I think could be done a tiny bit better in this guide which is here he has like this script that goes through and it gets the ports themselves added to the SSH command and th that works fine, right? But what I like prefer doing is going to .ssh config and this allows you to configure stuff. If you don't know this, in SSH you can configure your own custom hosts. So over here I have a host named mail underscore forward. Its host name, this is the domain for what I'm connecting to, which is mail the like from before. The port is just the SSH port. You probably can leave this as default, but I changed mine. And remote forward is 1984, which is the local port. And then the remote port is also 1984 on the local host, which is 127001. So what you can do is instead of having a, a, a script like this, what you could do is run SSH mail underscore forward, which is the name we gave to that. And as you can see, it connected me to my VPS. And if I go back to the port we were looking at before, yeah, it, it still works. I can build the page and yeah, it's still listening. Uh, so yeah, long story short, if you want to do it in a faster way, you can go to your SSH config file in your home directory and forward stuff over here. Now that that guide's over, there's a few more notes I want to give about trying to use a computer in a hotel room. First thing is ethernet ports. Now, you might find them behind television. Normally televisions in hotels, you can't really see it because it's really dark, but televisions in hotels, they normally have ethernet ports behind them that you can plug in and plug into the internet. Sometimes that's not possible and that's okay because you can get network manager on your Linux system and that will automatically connect the computer to Wi-Fi when you reboot if you configure it right. All you have to do is go to the command line interface, connect to the Wi-Fi connection once, and then every time you reboot it will automatically connect. You can also get a systemd daemon uh, to go through and connect all the SSH forwarding stuff for you automatically. So you basically have a redundant server 
by doing that stuff. I want to thank Davidovsky uh, for his fantastic SSH forwarding guide on his website. I'll have that linked in the description. It's such a good guide. And honestly, without that, I wouldn't have been able to run services from a hotel room. I wanted to make this video as a testament to how flexible stuff like Linux and self-hosting is. The fact that I was able to use a, a random old MacBook with Debian on it to connect to the internet and forward all my ports and run stuff like matrix services in the middle of, of nowhere in a hotel room. That's a pretty, pretty big, makes a big statement about the flexibility and just the things that you can get away with with Linux and self-host. But anyways, that's really all I wanted to say. I've been Denshi. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, goodbye.